be demonstrating how to upgrade the RAM in your laptop. Before doing this, make sure you're protected from electrostatic discharge. I'm just using a bit relatively inexpensive um, anti-static wristband to do this. These are available from most good computer stores. The first step is to check um, for compatible RAM. Do this using the link on your screen now. Now, once you've located the correct RAM and you've bought it, turn your laptop over. You need to locate the cover that says Memory Expansion on it. It may be labelled or it may not be. Now you need to remove this. This is usually held by one or two screws which you have to undo. The cover can then simply be lifted off. This will now expose your memory module. Here we can now see the memory module. It's very easy to remove these from the laptop. Simply find the little clips at either side and pull them away from the module. The module then pop up. It can then be pulled out the laptop. And there we have our RAM. Next step is to install the RAM into your laptop. To do this, you simply push it into the slot, like this, and then push it down. It will then clip into the clips on either side. You now need to make sure that there is very little metal here showing here. A little bit's okay, but too much, and the RAM will not be recognised by the laptop. We are now ready to test the laptop. So just turn it on and see if it works. All the RAM's been recognised, so that's good, it seems to be working. If you find that your laptop isn't turning on, sometimes you may find that the power light comes on, but nothing else happens, or that something happens like that, or it makes a funny beep. Something's gone wrong, we've installed your RAM. Hopefully you haven't damaged it, and it just hasn't been in in inserted properly. I would recommend removing the RAM again, and reinserting it. You may not have pushed the RAM far enough into the slot. Also, if you find that your full amount of RAM is not recognised by Windows or, your, or whatever operating system you use, again, try reinstalling it again. Note that you can only use up to 3 gigabytes on a 32-bit operating system. If you want to go more than 3 gigabytes, you have to upgrade to a 64-bit operating system, which is also dependent on your processor. For more information, visit glitchpc.com, where everyone would be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.